Senator Roberts, Malcolm Roberts from One Nation, moved a motion a couple of weeks ago in the Senate to protect young people. This is a topic that we here on Outsiders have discussed many, many times, to protect young people and young girls in particular from the madness of the transgender movement. Se uh, Senator Malcolm Roberts put forward a perfectly sensible and measured bill that firstly noted the explosion in the number of young people seeking to transition, as well as pointing out the high rates of suicide among people who have undergone chemical castration, surgical transitioning, and other, uh, other, other methods around the world, puberty blockers and so on. Most importantly, the motion called for the Senate to condemn, and I quote, the practice of children receiving experimental and unproven medical treatments of irreversible puberty blockers and irreversible transgender surgery. To their credit, all the nationals, all of One Nation, voted for Senator Malcolm's motion. To their credit, credit, most of the Liberal senators voted with One Nation. To their eternal shame, all the Labour Party and all the Greens voted against it. But wait for it, the continuing butchery of young Australian boys and girls will be going ahead because of a handful of Liberals and Jackie Lambie, who I mentioned before. But here are the Liberals who voted against this, who joined Labor and the Greens. I think it is shameful, but I'm going to read them out. Simon Birmingham from South Australia, shame on you. Andrew Bragg from New South Wales, shame on you. Richard Colbeck from Tasmania, shame on you. Jane Hume from Victoria, shame on you. And Maurice Payne from New South Wales and Dean Smith from WA, shame on you. And Jackie Lambie. That's my opinion. Rita. Well, I think it is shameful because we are seeing um, overseas a real limit being put on the use of some of these drugs because they have irreversible impact on young people, confused young people who are making decisions with lifelong consequences. And we're talking about things like infertility. I mean, can you imagine at the age of 12 or 13 submitting to treatment that may leave you infertile for life um, and all sorts of other complications? And, of course, there was the High Court decision in the UK, uh, which has uh, given everybody pause to consider what we're doing um, in this area. The activist class has really taken hold of this area and any dissent is uh, treated really harshly. And I think uh, we need to have far more transparency in this area, far more analysis of the impact of these uh, powerful drugs and treatments on confused young children. And we're talking about young people under 18 here. If you're over 18 and you want to submit <clears throat> to hormone treatment, you want to have surgeries to change your gender, good luck to you. If that makes you happy, go for it. But we're talking about uh, children. I think that's where we've got a that's real responsibility. What, and absolutely. And that was the wording. The wording them. was children. Exactly. Uh, thanks, Rita.